Hi, first grade, it's Miss Posidoni, and we are here for a little lesson that goes with the story that we read, Jack's Talent. And we're going to talk about a couple different words, and we're going to actually work on writing too, and you will also have a chance to draw a picture, which is awesome. So right off the bat, we listed it on our supply sheet, but I'm going to tell you exactly what you are going to need for this lesson, ready to go, before we get started. So number one, this sheet right here, these are vocab cards that our, or sight words cards that are located in your ELA bag. All of the cards that have a number one next to it, which are the words am, I, two, and like, those are the cards that you need to cut out and have ready for this lesson, okay? You do not need to have any of the other cards cut out and ready for this lesson, just those top four. So make sure that you have those. You will also need your complete sentence checklist that looks like this, and it is also in your ELA bag. And you will need a pencil and some story paper that looks like this. Remember our story paper is the paper that has that big, thick, open space at the top so that you can draw a picture. So those are the items that you will need for this lesson. All right, good. You have them all ready to go, right? Awesome. We are going to go through a couple words and talk about what they are, how we can use them, and sentences that we can use these words in. And then we're actually going to write some sentences, and I will show you exactly what I want you to do. So when I hold up a card, I want you to find the same exact card. So these are from the cards that you just cut out. I want you to find the same exact card and I want you to hold it up and we're gonna talk about it. First card I want you to hold up is this one. And what does this say? Good, it says I. I stands for the long I sound. Repeat after me, I. And I could use I in a sentence. Maybe I can say I like pizza. Okay. The next card I want you to hold up is this one. And what does this say? Good, it says like, like. The letter L sounds like this, ooh. Then we have I, we have a long I and we'll get to long vowels later in the year. And then k, like. And I could use the same sentence I said last time, right? Because I use the word I and I use the word like in my last sentence, I like pizza. Okay, our next word card that I want you to hold up is this one. What does this say? Good, it says two. Two, and it's not talking about the number two. It's talking about like, I go to school. Let's say this again, two. Good, way to say two, nice job. And we have that t, t sound at the beginning of two, like we talked about in our phonics lesson with consonants, right? And I could say, just like I said, I go to school. If I wanted to use all of those words that we just talked about, I could say, I like to go to school. And I would have used all those words. Okay, the last one I want you to hold up is this one. And I know it's a little harder to see. That's the word am. And this one we can sound out, a, m, am. It has that short a that we talked about in our phonics lesson. And that m, right? That m mm sound. Having that m mm sound at the end of our words. This is am. And I could say, I am a teacher. That would be using the word am in a sentence. Okay. What we are going to do now is actually work on using those words in a sentence. And this is where your story paper is going to come into play. I am going to show you exactly what your paper should look like, and then I will show you an example. So right here on your story paper, there's a couple of things that are going to happen, and this is also where your complete sentence checklist is going to come into play. What you are going to see, remember, we had that video, or I had that video where I showed you how to write on paper, right? And I know we just wrote our name. But you are going to see that I start all the way to the left of my paper on that first line, not in that open space, right? We're not writing in that open space. That open space is meant for our picture. 
that first line is meant for our words. And when we're writing our words, we really wanna focus on capitals whenever we write a sentence. We wanna focus on finger spacing. I should be able to fit my finger in between my two words, which you see I can do. And we also wanna focus on having an end mark and then looking back at it and making sure that it makes sense and it looks right. So you'll see that we have all of those words that we just talked about on this paper. I am, and then you're going to see that I put a line. That is where you are going to fill in your name. And I'm going to show you that example that I did in just a moment. There are two sentences for this activity. So I am, and then you'll write your name and you'll see that I have a period at the end of that. And I made sure to start my sentence with a capital I. And then my second sentence says, I like to, and then another blank. And you can fill in whatever you like to do on that blank. Now, the goal is that the more that we move on in the year, we become awesome, awesome, awesome at spelling, right? And writing different words. For now, use your best spelling. Try and sound out, do what's called stretchy snake or chopping out those words like we worked on in our lesson earlier for phonics. Try and do the best that you can to spell out your words. And the hope is that the more that we move on on the year, move on throughout the year, that you become a super, super strong speller or super amazing at spelling. So again, it says, I am, and you're going to write your name and I like to, and then you're going to write what you like to do. And then what you are going to do in this open space right here is draw a picture of what you like to do. Now, I know that I used marker and I used marker so that you can see it. You want to use pencil. Always, always, always use pencil because if you accidentally make a mistake, like maybe you accidentally forget to have a capital I at the start of your sentence, it's no big deal if you use pencil because then you can erase it and then write your capital I. Let me show you my example. I did not draw a picture, but I'm going to show you the example sentences that I wrote. So here we go. Our sentence starter, I am, and I put I am Miss Posidoni, and then I have my period, and I made my M capital and Miss and my P capital and Posidoni because that's my name, and we always make sure that our names are begin with a capital letter. And then I put I like to play volleyball. And then if I were you guys, I would be drawing a picture of me up here playing volleyball. Now, pencil for your sentences, for your picture up top, you can use crayon or you can use marker. I suggest using crayon just so it doesn't go through this paper. Once you finish your assignment, you will take a picture of it and you will post it directly onto Dojo Portfolio. But do not throw away this paper. Reason why is because next time we have a writing lesson, guess what you can do? You can use the backside, right? We don't want to throw it away and not use the backside. We want to use all of the paper that we possibly can. And that also is showing that we're being green and trying not to waste paper. Okay? So again, your activity is to complete these two sentences. I am, and then fill in your name, and then I like to. Fill in something that you like to do making sure that you start your sentences with a capital, you have finger spacing, and you end your sentences with an end mark or a period, and then draw your picture up top of you doing whatever you like to do, take a picture of it, and post it directly onto Dojo Portfolio. All right, first grade, I am looking forward to hearing about and seeing what you like to do, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.